understand. understand. Uh, let me show you the moves. Take a look at the shoes. Let me show you the moves. I mean, I watched him like bring this shit to the game. And like, they, I don't know who was the first, but I do know shout out to Comatose Gross. And I remember I was on like Linden and 730. I had no business over there, but I, but I was over there. And you know what I'm saying? So when he was telling me, I think Rowdy just had went in. Like they okay. just had went in. And I, I met Gino. Shout out to um, Gino. Drizzy Juliano. Uh, I met JD around that time, not a little yeah. later, and I met Fabi. And and they was like, yo, Fabi had that song, uh, uh, I think the nine ain't dead. And okay. and that's the song, like when they were running around with you, wherever I was performing, I would just let them either open or perform it. So when I started the concerts, that's when like they was really like well, a lot of people started to reach out to them. Like if I could just look at the person face at E1. I brought Fabio right to him, like, yo, okay. he's the next dude. Oh, yo, we talking. Who we got to talk to? And we, we was talking because, you know, it wasn't even about me. I had done French Go Records, so I was moving. And because I really just wanted to see what these indie deals was having to offer. Okay. So, and there's pictures to prove it. Like, I had these Fabio in the office and everything, and people looked past it. So they waited for a big drip, and now here we are today. So, right. like, and it's crazy like to hear that story, to see like, even when I was doing my womb back, he's like, James, I'm telling you, look, <laughs> like, he, it's like, he was just going crazy, like, crazy. And when I did the record with him, we came back from Atlanta, I did um, uh, Throw That, Throw That Shit, it was me, him, and Drizzy. Now, whatever, what happened, probably couldn't put it out, it took politics, but I'm cool with everybody. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying, James, well, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, and it just showed me how to be, knew that this sound was coming, but I just had to figure out what sound I could stay true to and still be amongst what's going on. Right. And like Drewski started to take to it. And then I started noticing like, oh shit. They didn't even know it was me at some point. They were like, that's you, James? And, and there we are. Yeah. Top five? Um, it's definitely not that. Say that, say that's my guy. But you know what I'm saying? I would say, you tell me, you tell me, you tell me. As you should. As you Respectfully. Respectfully. But I mean, like, you know, if you. I got a lot of favorite rappers, but then if I feel like I, I, I say it, they'll be redundant. Or, like, you know what I mean? I'm a fan of a lot of dope music, but I'm more a fan of the moguls who made millions and billions. They're my top five. Like, Nick Cannon might be on that list. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ross might Nick be on Cannon. the list. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? Thanks. Master P is on that list. Jay Z, Diddy is like, I have a whole other top five. Those for for people, those are my top five. Like, even Camera, like, everybody do a pink horse. Ooh, you like, okay, that's yeah. like, and he was literally. Very influential, heavy with the fashion, got you. Right, Every, not just the fashion, oh, just the uh, mindset of getting money. Word. 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 <laughs> Camera, like to her pickles, like <laughs> yeah, I mean, like so yeah. you know, he is out of control, ladies and gentlemen. Nah. Is... some people be having top files for their own personal reasons and liberal okay. reasons. Mine's is business reasons. Well, That's cool. Like, if you like, fifty said to a kid. Oh yeah, shout out to fifty. That's mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Nah, business man. You turn that into a whole empire. Right. Like that. Yo, but uh, what I noticed about this industry is like people who like get down or have a long route path to take for some reason within a half a decade to ten they wind up taking over the whole shit. Mm-hmm. And it's been historically proven with like groups over and over, over and over, like the underdogs. Now that everybody's looking at the Kanye West documentary, everybody's like, whoa! But so how much you, you got to see what he was going through, like how people was ignoring him, how mm-hmm. he was there. and now you see why y'all only see the. Yeah. The other side. And now like yo man, yeah, keep going, Kanye. Like, it is what it is.